good final test of the pre-season uh, campaign, Gavin? Yeah, yeah, obviously Oxford, real strong outfit, uh, league above us, um, and uh, real high speed running, lots of interchange, very good in possession. So yeah, it was a real good test for us today, probably the most real test that we'll have through, through the course of pre-season. So yeah, really happy with the performance. And uh, pre-season games are not always about the result, but nevertheless, good to go into the start of the season with a win under your belt as well. Yeah, it's probably the one game that I do hope for a positive result. Um, you know, the rest of them, like you say, it's always nice. We're, we're always competitive, but going into that last game, I just think it breeds good habits. Um, and like I say, I think the lads, where I've maybe criticised them in pre previous weeks, and like a very mild criticism on leadership and professionalism, I thought they did that um, with Bells on today. So yeah, really happy. And the first half was pretty tight, few goal scoring chances, then it really opened up in the second half. Yeah, just the message to the lads really was to take the safety catch off. I think we've really played within ourselves first half. Again, really disciplined in, in, uh, out of possession, but just when the ball turned over, I think that we were quite, you know, like lax and sloppy and maybe second guessing ourselves. Because again, a lot, the lads have had a lot of detail over the last few weeks. Uh, it's a lot of information to take on board. It's slightly different to the way they would have played under previous regimes, I'm sure. So they're just getting used to it. So we're just asking them to play with freedom, you know, to express themselves, but just to keep in mind what it is that we're asking them to do. And um, second half, the, the, the phrase was, take the safety catch off. And, and I felt like they did that. And they did, again, you know, you could bells on credit to them. All the players working hard out there, but you know, Dan Turner and Danny Newton really, uh, really running the defenders so hard this afternoon. Yeah, I, th I think more more than than the working hard. I think they worked smart today. You know, we um, we had to set up in a certain fashion. I was disappointed that we didn't really grasp that in the first five minutes. So we've we've, we've obviously addressed that. But after that, I thought they, they were impeccable, and then we we just changed our front press again slightly just to match the opposition makers a bit more efficient and. Um, yeah, real credit to them. I think, yeah, of course they've worked hard today. You can see they were spent at the end, but, um, you know, they worked smart as well. And that's that's what you're going to have to do in this league to be successful. So when, when we talk about working hard and working smart, you know, you Shepner and Benzie in there today, you know, you see the levels he works at. You know, he's, he's, uh, he, he, he's, uh, he's efficient, he's reliable, he works at high levels. Um, he's intelligent and, and as well what was really great is like you know he's, he's a little bit constructive criticism for him today just to, you know almost overrunning trying to get him run as much which is you know obviously hard to actually say to your players but you know I think he he epitomises what we are as a team and, and where we want to be so um, if all the players can adhere to that which they, they are for the most part we're going to be in a good place You picked up one or two knocks during pre-season but nothing additional from today no, yeah, we'll probably be without three of them for next week, um, which is obviously a disappointment. Um, gave us an opportunity to look at a player today uh, that I know previously that's been it's been excellent for me. So I thought he did great when he came on. And then, like, like I say, you know, for us, it's um, we're happy to a point, but we, we haven't peaked where we are yet. So the lads have had a hard pre-season. So there's a couple of niggles. They're not long term, but they might just not make. Uh, the start of the season, which is disappointing, but ultimately, you know, we're, we're in a good place. Um, we're still educating ourselves. The group hasn't quite got to where they know they can get to yet, hence the conversation at half time. But I think when we do peak, we're going to be a force to re be reckoned with because actually, on today's performance, you'll take that. But people keep telling me that, we, you know, it was a good performance, but ultimately, I still don't think we're anywhere near what we're going to be capable of. You planned the pre season, so looking back on it, pretty really happy overall with uh, how it's worked out. I actually, if I'd have mapped it out myself, I couldn't have wanted it to go any better. You know, I think um, just little details that have arisen through the course of the pre-season. The, on the only thing that you know I've been very apologetic for is obviously the, uh, the Stratford game being called off. You know, they're um, they're really great in, in looking to host us, and unfortunately that couldn't happen. So our apologies go to them. Um, good people over there, so we, we look to try and resurrect that at some point with them. But um, yeah, for the, for the rest of it, it's just it just couldn't have gone any better in terms of how we want it to go to. You know, has it always been the right result? No. Has it always been? I, I even mean some of the hurdles that we've had, had to overcome. You know, I'd rather them happen in pre-season than the season. So yeah, it's uh, for the most part, we've been really pleased with it. And as I say, I, I don't think we're quite at our peak yet. And when we do, I think it's, um, it's going to be an enjoyable watch. And everybody's ready and excited for the trip to Chorley when the season really kicks off next Saturday. Yeah, absolutely. Um, tough place to go, as they all are in this league. You know, I, I honestly believe it's it's the most competitive league outside of the, the national league, and, and even competes. A lot of teams will compete at that level. So, yeah, listen, it's a tough game for Chorley, but it's a, uh, it's a tough game for them. But it's a tough game for tough game for us. Sorry, but it's a tough game for them as well. So, um, yeah, 
it, it's a, a tough place to go to. You know, we're always going to Chorley, whatever they do. You know, they never make it easy. But you know, if we're at our best, I'm sure we can um, we can get the, the outcome that we want. But you know, make no mistake, we've got to be at our absolute best to come away with something. Well, spectators enjoyed today's game as well. So thanks for that. Well done. No, thank you. Cheers.